Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to show you guys and share with you my Esther Luca Winter Family Swap. Um, I finally got my box um, and my swap partner was It's a Deal and she told me like last week that she had sent this box out and when I should expect it and like Thursday or Friday, I was just like, there's no way it's going to take a whole week for it to get here, but it did. So I was on pins and needles, anticipation, um, craziness, waiting for this box to come. Um, it's the very first one that I've ever done, and I was really nervous and really scared to um, participate, and I actually seen the fall swap. And I decided that I wanted to kind of wait around and see, get the feel for it before I decide whether or not I do one. Um, first, th for, that was the first reason. And then the second reason I didn't do the fall swap was because I just started my YouTube channel. And it was something that I didn't even think that would be that successful. Excuse me. So... I was a little leery, but when the winter swap came up, I just said, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do it. Um, there, what's there to be scared of? You know, why are you, why are you scared to participate in this swap? Um, and it's not that I was scared. I just didn't know what to expect, really. So I just chose to bypass it. But whenever the winter one came up, I said, there's no way I got to do it absolutely just gonna do it and the second I seen the invitation I didn't even watch her video all the way through I went ahead and said count me in and then I went back and rewatched the video to see what all was involved in it because I knew that if I like waited and watched the whole video that was more time for me to say mm, you know you're probably not that crafty or that talented in order to be involved in this swap because all the work that I see everybody um, doing is like way better than mine so anyway I decided to not be scared of it sorry I'm in my scrub still apologize um, but I just couldn't wait to open this package so my um, Esther Luca family swap partner was it's a deal and First of all, I have to say that I went back through a ton of her videos waiting for her to pronounce her name. So her name is, and I never did come across that video, um, but her channel name is It's a Deal, and of course I'll have her stuff in the description box below. Um, but I'm not sure if you pronounce it um, Liana or Leana. Um, it, my mom is Hawaiian and her name is Leilani, um, so the L-I is kind of in, when, when I see it, it's Lei, not Lee. So you'll have to let me know exactly how you pronounce it because I seriously stalked all your videos waiting for the one video that you would pronounce your name and I never could find one. So anyway, it's a deal. Liana or Leana or Leanna, however you pronounce it, let me know. Make sure you you tell me how you exactly pronounce your name. Um, so I'm just gonna jump right in, and the first thing is this card, and it says "Have a holly jolly Christmas." And she had like wrapped the entire box like in craft. Um, paper and it was red and green and it was really really stunning but she did a really good job taping it and so I tried to start the filming process unwrapping that box and then I had to you know cut some of that out because I just couldn't get it done Okay, hey, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm sure I'll enjoy it. I had so much fun putting all of your goodies together that, I don't know, but I'm like laughing at this thing right here. Do you see this, guys? I don't know if this is focusing real well. But this is a paper clip. 
Like it is a cute little paper clip and it's got this pom pom on the back of it and it's cracking me up. <clears throat> it is so cute. Thank you so much. I'll probably end up putting that in my planner. See, this is the kind of paper that she had the box wrapped in. Isn't that cute and Christmassy? I didn't even wrap my box. I just put it in the white priority box. Some duct tape around it. She says this is her... I understand why you were laughing because I've already seen her video. So I'm understanding now why she's laughing at, at this ornament. This is her first attempt at an ornament. And it is stunningly familiar to the one that I sent her. Although, I, you know, I think yours might be cuter than mine. And I love green. Look at that. It is so funny that our minds think alike like that. Mine was owls. Like, it was fabric. These are ribbons. But I love it. And it's green. And my Christmas tree is this green color and bright pink and silver. So I love it. She probably was watching some of my channels to see, to know that that's um, what's on my Christmas tree. So there that is. That is gorgeous. And I love this bling too. Like that will definitely shine on my Christmas tree. Now I'm going to have to make like a little tag or note with your name on it so I remember forever that you sent it to me and I do love it and I felt the same way about the ornament I felt the same way about the ornament and the card I don't know why I cannot make cards I just can't like it's not something that I can do this says extra goodies I like how you labeled everything I didn't do that I just kind of wrapped it all up. Well, the reason why, really, I mean, it's not like I got in a hurry to send the box out. I, I took my time making everything. But um, I wanted my package to go out first because that was, like, the deal, even though I know most people are trustworthy. And she didn't even ask me to mail my package out first. She just, you know, and she honestly, like, was like, hey, she emailed me first. Um, like, I didn't even know that the partners had been assigned until she had emailed me, and then I was just like, oh, wait, I better go and figure out what I'm supposed to make. I better go watch that video. And so, I did. And then I was just like, man, she's, like, right on top of it. Of course, you know, she lives in California, and I live in Missouri, so I'm sure there's, you know, quite a bit of time difference there. Um, this one says extra goodies, and it is... <clears throat> extra goodies that's what it is um, all these little pieces look at these poinsettia did you make that did you put that together let me know in the comments below and this little penguin these are cute too did you make these oh no that one's got a label on it so I'm assuming you didn't make that one Little Santa. These are cute. I wonder where you found these at. And some tags. I love tags. I don't know about anybody else, but hello, these guys have googly eyes. I'm not even kidding. That's the coolest thing. I love tags. I love making tags. I love buying tags. I love tags in general. I mean, get real. Like, look at that. That's too cute. Oh my gosh, and so is this one. And this one. The Santa's my favorite. And then these are felt. I don't know where she got these either. And they've got um, little holes in them so you can use them as tags if you wanted to. I'm not going to. But if you wanted to, you could. And here's an angel with a trumpet and a present. Um... I was really excited to have somebody from that side of the country because they have a lot of things over there that we, we I don't get, especially me being in rural Missouri. Like, you can forget about it. Like, most of everything 
that I work with and purchase is either from Dollar Tree, Walmart, or Dollar General because that's really all that is close to me. Although, I do have a Tuesday morning, but it's like an hour away from me, and I do make trips down there um, sometimes, but not very often. This must be her car, because <laughs> it's a shaking in there. And she put this little guy on there. See, this is a tag, and she's turned it into a paper clip. I mean, that's cute, right? This is her handmade card. And I've seen her do a whole bunch of handmade cards on her channel. And she does them way better than me. Mine actually, I love using glitter in my shaker cards. And um, I have sent out two different things that had glitter in it. And both things kind of had fallout to them. Um, so I'm going to stop using glitter and just use sequins and beads and things. And there that is. Look how cute. This one's way better than my card. And she's got all kinds of things in here. Stars, sequins, snowflakes. And on the back it says, Happy Holidays, Merry and Bright, Handmade with Love. It's a deal. We kind of, it's so funny because we kind of both made the same kind of card as well. I made a shaker card. And so did she. We, this design on this ornament is basically the same. I used a um, mason jar lid and she just used this very sturdy um, cardboard roll, which I'm assuming is a washi tape roll, which I love it when people repurpose things that they use and turn it into something else. I use fabric and she used ribbon, but they're both circles and they're both fringy and frilly like this. And so our minds were kind of like together, which is amazing because we were both, I know we were both worried about this handmade ornament and she's made cards before and I've made cards before. They just end up not being that great. So it turned out okay, although it was... Not really that great because it had some fallout into it. And I was a little sad about it. And here is... <laughs> it's so funny how we both thought the same. I had sent her... We were supposed to send like... Washi samples that were like 18 inches long. And I was just like, I just am not going to measure these out. So I just took some washi tapes. I took a whole set of decorative tape like this and sent it to her. There's four of them and then I picked out another random washi tape out of my stash that I had that was new and hadn't been opened and sent it to her. And then I also sent washi tape samples in my pocket letter but I must confess I didn't measure that. And I'm sure they were probably more than 18 inches long because I was just like wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. Um, but she sent me these amazing fabric tapes. And I have to say, I do not have one single fabric washi tape. Number one. Number two... I love things on canvas and I love things on burlap and this is on canvas and it is a fabric washi tape and it is stunning. I don't know where she got this but um, yes please that's all I have to say look at that and it just says handmade it says natural style handmade. Yeah, and it's all these, like a sewing machine and a teddy bear and a little dress. It is gorgeous. And this is also on canvas. And it's like the, can you see that? Hold on here. I don't know if you can see that real well. But it's like the airmail pattern and it's got like stamps on it. 
and I actually have some, I don't have the washi, but I have some stickers and die cuts and things that will match that. And my friend Lisa sent me some envelopes that it will also match. Oh my gosh. And look at this one, guys. I don't know if you can see that real well, but that is a little girl. This one is also on canvas. It's got trees and little chickens and a goose. Where did you get these? I, I have not been able to see these anywhere. I've never seen these. And these are great. And I don't have anything like that, so I'm really excited. And then she sent me this star one, which I know is Dollar Tree, because I actually have some of this. This um, It's like one of the only Dollar Tree washies I've ever found is this one, but I found it. And, and I love stars, so like I will use this. It, I, I could probably have 10 or 15 of these and, and you know I love the stars and I'm assuming that this is a Dollar Tree washi as well although I've never seen it so that is awesome and I love the colors and they're like little flower prints I don't know if you guys can see that that's focusing in but um Thank you so much. You were like, I know in your video you were talking about how you spo spoiled me, or I spoiled you to death, but you're doing the same. Like, you're sending me all this good stuff. What do you know? More goodies. For me. <laughs> this is like the funnest thing ever. I do have to say that I'm going to continue doing the Esther Luca family swaps. Um, now that I've done one and I know what to expect and how it works and all that fun stuff, like, I think I can handle it. I'm good to go. And I had so much fun doing this one. Okay. <laughs> Cozy socks. Now, she lives in California, so she probably has no need to wear these, but I live in Missouri, where it is 50 degrees one day, 16 degrees the next day, and then 80 degrees the day after that. So, um, we wear these socks all the time here in Missouri, and they're so soft and they're so nice. Um, I really appreciate that. Oh, look. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely do Elf on the Shelves around here. And this is the Elf on the Shelf Presents an Elf Story Chippies Peppermint Cocoa. Now, I think that is funny because our Elf on the Shelf's name is Chip. Chip Max. So, I think that is so funny. She probably had no idea when she sent this, but it is amazing. Thank you so much. And here is a pen. And it is a gingerbread man. And I just think that that gingerbread man is so stinking cute. There that is. That is cute. And he's felt. I love it. Thank you so much. And then a pack of these stickers. Which I love. I love little critters. I like the little caterpillar. He's my favorite, I think. And the snail. Not gonna lie, he's cute too. Thank you so much, girl. Okay. Last but not least is the pocket letter she sent me. And there's another one of these Santa Claus paper clips, which I just think are too cute. Like, these are the cutest things ever. And, um... It says pocket letter and embellishments. I'm going to take this paper clip off. Look at that. Those are too funny. It's like he's sitting on a snowball. Very clever. I like how you did those. I wouldn't have thought to do that. <laughs> Save this ribbon. I love green. I love this green ribbon she's used. In a nice little Santa Claus treat bag, which I'm loving. Oh, you know what? 
girl, please. I have never seen, this is my very first pocket letter that is like this, um, where it is, did you, did you fuse this like this, or did you find these like this? Wait, how is this? You got these like separated, did you cut that? They're, instead of like being like three sections, it's like one big section, three big sections here. Did you find the sheet protector like this, or did you fuse that this way? You'll have to let me know, because that's very interesting. I've not seen it like that. But anyway, look how cute that is on the front. She's got these. Whoa! She's got these little um, paper clips like this. And this little guy is just too cute. I love it. I love that paper clip. The Christmas tree is so cute and tiny. I like really tiny things. I don't know. I have a problem. It's like um, when you go to the grocery store and you see like um, the little half jars of spaghetti sauce and the little half boxes of pasta. And you just think to yourself like that is a old couple, you know, and they're sitting around enjoying some spaghetti for two and then they don't have to worry about leftovers after like in my mind I just think that that's gonna be me and my husband 50 years from now and we're gonna be sitting around eating little baby jars of pasta sauce and spaghetti noodles you know that's the way it goes um, she's got all these little blings down the side in green of course I love green I don't know if she was watching and seeing how much I love green um, but it is one of my favorite colors. And then she has these, I don't know where you found these at. I've seen these back here, and I've seen, I know these are Dollar General because I have some. And I've seen um, this clear one. It's also Dollar General, but I have not seen this white one. I believe that I like the white ones better than the clear ones. They just pop a little bit better. I don't know why. I mean, they're both stunning. But, like, if I would have, like, if I went into Dollar General and I seen this one and this one, I would have naturally have vegetated towards this one here. But either way, those are so cute. You'll have to let me know if you got those at Dollar General. I, I mean, my Dollar Generals don't have them, but you'll have to let me know. And then, in the back of all these pockets are more goodies. Like, she says that I spoiled her, but I'm telling you, she spoiled me right back. Like, it's amazing the amount of things that she sent me. And I wasn't expecting it, A, because it was my first one, and B, because it was my first one. So, I wasn't, I, I didn't know what to expect, but I'm so glad I decided to do the swap. And I will continue doing the swaps in the future. A little Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Snowflakes. And these. I really like these guys. Did you get these from Dollar General too? Because I didn't see these. I love them. They look like Dollar General or Dollar Tree. But either way, I didn't see them at my store. Either one of them. Dropping things, girl. I need a bigger workspace. I can't wait to build my house so I can have my own craft room. As you can see, this area here is in my bedroom, but I need a bigger space. Look at this guy. That is so cute. Not sure. There we go. And that's interesting. I've not seen rosettes made out of cray paper, but I like how you did that. It's cute. I might have to copy this one. And then here's another tag. And this is funny too, girl, because I sent, I do believe I sent her some green one. A green one or two green ones. I can't remember, but it's the same tag. She sent me the red ones and I gave her a green one. What? Our minds were so thinking alike. And this is too cute. This was had this attached to this. I love these deers. And it's a paper clip. Like my big old hands are in the way, but 
That's a paper clip. It's cute. And inside it is little pieces of scrap Christmas paper, which I don't have a ton, so I, I like little scrap pieces of paper. I get, Believe it or not, you can do so much with just these little pieces of paper. I know everybody looks at me like I'm crazy, but if I concentrate hard enough and I figure out things to do, you can turn anything into anything. I promise you that. And here is a paper clip with candy canes on it and ribbons. I love it. They're so cute. Now, I'm pretty sure that you told me in your video that you didn't know how to do these. So, number one, either you bought it or somebody gifted this one to you and you passed it along to me. Because that is tied the exact same way that I tied mine. And I don't put um, the hot glue on the back because I know not everybody is a planner. So I tend to leave it um, undone and I know it's loose that way. But that way, whoever gets it, if they're not a planner, they can take the ribbon off and use it for something else. Like a tassel or something. And then here are some more little cut-aparts. I don't have a ton of die cuts and cut-aparts. You know, I'm just starting my collection, so I really do. And this paper is stunning. I don't know where she got it, but I've not seen paper like this before. But I love it. And here is a tag. Oh, this little sticker's coming off, but hang on. Got jumbled up in shipment, I think. And she's got bling down the side and a bling here. And it says happy holidays on it. And it's got a little let it snow. Um, does that say let it snow? That says warm wishes. <laughs> I don't know where I got let it snow. Um, ribbon down the side of it. So cute. And then here are some more tags. She, I, I got a serious problem with tags, girl. I don't know if you've been watching my videos. These look like maybe tall, tar, taller, taller, Target, maybe. This video is going to be so long, girl. But, again, I've not ever done one of these. And so I feel like I need to be thorough with it. And it is definitely... It's going to take some sneak action here. It's definitely um, my channel, so I get to do what I want. Um, and here are some... Look how cute these are. Where would you get these at? These are puffy Santa Claus stickers. That ain't no joke. Those are Santa Claus... Look at this dude. Like He's taking a nap. He's like, I'm so tired, I'm taking a nap. Thank you so much. <laughs> and again, she's so funny. She's like, we're, we are like two minds thinking alike right here. She sent me a couple of these little snowman pieces of paper, which now that I see how big these are, got an idea. And then she sent me this little thing of washi. Like it is, it amazes me how how many things in this project that we actually ended up doing very similar to each other. Oh wait, there's this little satchel too. Hold on. Um, the ornament was the same idea. the sh The shaker card was the same idea. She sent me five rolls of washi and then sample washi, which I sent her as well. She sent me cozy socks and I sent her. A coffee tumbler. I mean, it's a uh, great minds, girl. Great minds. We think alike. We think alike. And inside this little guy are some. I just love this bag. Um, are some of the ribbon she used. She tied that up with a little plastic paper clip. There are these jewels. These biggins, which I seen at my Dollar Tree, but I passed them up. And I don't know why. 
but I'm glad I got some now. <laughs> and then the next time I went back, like I, I couldn't find them. Um, and a little tassel, a little blue tassel. That's my next project. I'm going to try to do my hand in tassel making. I haven't tried that yet. And then some more little stickers. And these are all Christmas things. <laughs> Look at that penguin. The snowman. The penguin. And then another penguin. And I like penguins a lot. Anyway, I think I covered everything. I'm hoping. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. Um, I am going to link her channel in the description box below. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the description box below. Please go and check out her channel. She does all kinds of different things on her channel. She's amazing. Um, she spoiled me rotten with all these goodies and treats and gifts. Like, I can't thank you enough. Um, you outdone yourself, girl, for real. You really did. And I appreciate every single little itty bitty piece that went into this package and the thought that you put behind every single thing that you sent me. I really do appreciate it. I had so much fun exchanging with you. Um, and I hope you had a ton of fun exchanging with me. I'm glad that we became friends out of this situation. And I hope that we can continue doing swaps in the future. Um, even if it's not with Esther Luca, I'm glad to have you, um, as a crafty buddy in California. Um, all right guys, that does it for me. Um, again, thank you so much. It's a deal. I really do appreciate all the thought that went into and the love that went into this project. Um, until next time, I'll see ya.